Hi, welcome to uh, another music video. In my pursuit of the best of the year video series uh, and that magical 2022, uh, I'm now at 2018 uh, and I hope to uh, have caught up by the end of the year. Two videos for you to consider. First, my honourable mentions and then we'll do a top 10 or is it 11 can't remember uh first one up these are going to be very brief kurt vile bottle it in it's his eighth album uh kurt vile is an acquired taste um i quite like his sort of very laid-back guitar style with layers of synths adding some pianos and he he gives me the impression that he's sort of a a hippie from yesteryear uh but uh, offering music you know that's new um, but well worth a listen but you need three or four listens before you get into it uh, and then <coughs> excuse me uh, we've got Come Tomorrow uh, Dave Matthews Band this is six years after Away From The World which I actually reviewed and is on this channel There'll be a link in the description. Rob Cavallo is the producer here, and he produced uh, Matthew's great album, Big Whiskey and the Groo Groo, Groo Crux King. Uh, there's no violinist, Boyd Tinsley, and, of course, Leroy Moore uh, has passed on. Dave Matthews' band <coughs> doesn't seem quite as, and I quote, loopy or rangy as they did in their prime. A leaner sound. Uh, still has that swampy beat uh, enriched without sax. Uh, we can hear that on Can't Stop. And further down, Virginia in the Rain has a very lazy beat that meshes delicate uh, sax again with percussion and feedback guitar. Dave's voice in the story uh, telling mode. And it definitely feels like uh, the Carolinas can't remember where he's north or south carolina it's got that sort of southern swampy feel to it so that's uh my brief take on come tomorrow next up is mark loffler down the road wherever this is his ninth uh solo record since the demise of dire Straits. it's very much in the same mold as the previous eight really a little country a bit of jazz blues pub rock and folk and there's a sort of celtic feel to it uh it's a distinctive brand of understated english roots rock very warm and eclectic is the storytelling which Noffa uh revels in and it makes me feel rather snug and secure and in comfortable territory when i listen to his guitar which is the pivotal source of the enjoyable listening on this album he even sl slots in a rendition of You'll Never Walk Alone into a song about childhood. Some idyllic trumpet is also heard on When You Leave. Uh, he's good on your son, injects some sax as well. Very classy. Sums up Knopfler perfectly. Next, uh, Beach House, and this is called Seven, another ethereal collection of shoegaze tunes, Let's send you quickly into a daydream. Uh, Our Country, Americana Act 2 by Ray Davis is a sequel to the 2017's Americana and there's a review of that in the description, a full review. Love Back in the Day, which has a doo-wop mix with humorous Davis lyrics. It's got a real 50s feel to it, this one, uh, and uh, I, I enjoyed it. Care, C-A-E-R, by Twin Shadow. And that uh, title is uh, To Fall. It's in Spanish, of course, uh, if you didn't know. Uh, this is 80s star music from one George Lewis Jr. Uh, his moniker is Twin Shadow, and he's the creator of this sound. The pop new wave indie mix and themic melodies. And the best track I thought on this was Little Women, seems simple from the outside but it's a slow burning treasure and you can hear the soul in the vocals 
Then uh, Outsiders by Magic Numbers. This is their fifth record. They debuted in 2005. It's some, got a nice soft pop rock collection here with tasteful guitar pieces and occasional electronics via keyboards that smatter amidst the tracks. Uh, there's a balance between the loud and the dreamy. This band originated from uh, the UK. Sweet Divide has an extended guitar solo moulding with the two sets of twin harmonies, and uh, uh, the twins, that is, and a late sax solo. Think, uh, you can think of uh, Clarence Clemens a little. It also has exquisite trumpet on power lines. And then to Historian by Lucy Dacus. It's her sophomore release. This songwriter has a very strong indie rock band behind her, which provides a sound that puts her above other artists in the indie rock band crowded field. Catch the opener, Night Shift. Very good example of what is on offer. And I recommend it. Rattling on, as there were lots of... Uh, uh, honourable mentions, Graham Parker. Yeah, that guy who blitzed us all in the mid-70s. He's got a new album out on, in 2018 called Cloud Symbols. There's no rumour here, however, to support him, uh, but uh, uh, it's still worth having a listen to this. Uh, he's got a very distinctive uh, vocal delivery, a creative songwriter, of course, and a great vocal presence. To the next, uh, Solve Our Human Problems <coughs> by Bell and Sebastian. This was released in three EP form instead of one LP. Uh, I guess they were probably assuming that they might get greater sales. Uh, why, you might have to ask the leader, student Myrtle. Stylish good vibe here pitched halfway between 60s modernism and 70s disco. There's a lot of joy and positivity in their message, and it's clean, nice, a uh, Brit pop. And now uh, the latest from uh, Mark E. Everett, uh, whose band is The Eels, The Deconstruction. I like Mark E. Everett, uh, but his albums do tend to be fairly depressing. Uh, plenty of guitar work here from E., and some lovely string arrangements, plus samples and keyboards, and the slightly low-tech sound of the loops and synths patched patch together to add to a, the song's development. Repeated listens are essential. Latest Van Morrison effort now, The Prophet Speaks, 50 years after the release of Astral Weeks, so quite a particularly uh, uh, strong uh, position in his discography, I would suggest. There's a lot of blues on here. We get a cover of Dimples, which was a John Lee Hooker uh, song. Uh, R&B is mixed in as usual. And Van seems hungrier than ever to put out more songs to feed his addiction. The blues, soul and R&B palette. Not Too Far Away is the new album by Joan Armour Trading, released in 2018. Her debut was way back in 1970. She's producing this album and playing and programming every instrument and arranging the strings for her only guest artist, which is the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra. It's consistently creative and a very solid release. And so uh, let's move on now uh, to... Leon Bridges, this is, uh, I think, his second album. It's a good thing. R&B travels back between two eras where you get 60s soul and modern-day neo-soul. Um, I like this guy. I like his voice, and I like the sound that he puts together. A good example is Bad Bad News, uh, track two, where the organ shuffles the soul beat with a splash of horns and the guitar is very George Benson-like, which adds to a jazz touch. Another that was pretty impressive is Mrs. Uh, this is about his mother, track nine, a low soul blues. And he touches basses with Prince, the purple one, I think, with vocals and lead guitar. Uh, on 10, Georgia to Texas, this is a lovely acoustic jazz quartet 
Hamilton song, which captures the essence of Bridges' tribute to his mother. Great sax work. And so, let's. Uh, this is the latest album by Suede, the Big Hour, it's called. It's their third record since we re reunited in 2013. But it's 25 years since their debut. So, in total, they've re had eight releases. Lots of decadent romanticism here, very melodramatic, with layers of strings, some choirs added in, electronic voices, and poetic discretions, digressions. Sorry, Sway's strength is that they're able to exude moods in the soundscapes, and the tracks segue together throughout the album to give it a bit of a live feel. Just a, a few tracks to highlight as one opens up with Anderson's vocals which grip the dramatic strings that cascade. It reminded me a little bit of Dogman Star. Uh, then we've got Mistress, a rolling guitar's jangle with atmosphere, ably equaled by Anderson's passionate voice. It's a song about a boy's realisation of his fa father's affair and the impact on the family. So... Beyond the Eye of Skirts is another uh, strong song with Anderson's vocals emotionally engaging the listeners. It's about urban landscapes. That's the imagery for me. And uh, so I hope you like it. Uh, and uh, that is that.